Hey guys, 1977 Logan here. I'm gonna do a quick update on the tank and show a couple of uh, new additions that I have. So, uh, over the weekend, I picked up a tricolor bubble tip anemone, and then I'll just show you some of the other corals and how they're doing. Uh, mushrooms are doing good. A couple chalices here that are doing doing good. I like that one quite a bit. If I can get focused. Candy cane. Everything's doing well. Some zoanthids. But I was able to pick up a couple of fish that I've been uh, wanting to get for quite some time. I've been looking to get a, a pair of clowns and I picked up a couple platinum clowns over the weekend. They're extremely small. They're just tiny babies. There's one here and the other one's over here. But I expect these fish to just be awesome looking as they as they get older and get bigger. Super stoked to have them. I was wanting to get a pair of clowns, something a little different, something different than I've had. And, and uh, picked these guys up over the weekend and just super stoked to have them in the tank. Everything's going well. Uh, thinking about upgrading my skimmer, or, uh, getting a new skimmer. I bought this reef octopus that I have running right now. Uh, I bought it used when I started this system, and it it's done okay. I don't know that it I, I don't know that it's uh, done a great job. I'm I'm kind of leaning towards either a reef dynamic skimmer or a bubble magnus skimmer. I'm still doing research. I'm still in that phase. I think my uh, bio pellets are finally starting to take off. My nitrates seem like they're climbing down, and uh, that's a good thing. I did pick up some Dr. Tim's pearls. So um, if, if if these these pellets don't do the trick, I guess I'll switch over. Like I said, everything's going well. Um, I, I am, like, like I said, I am considering getting a new skimmer. If anybody has any input on those uh, two skimmers that I mentioned, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm looking at the uh, Bubble Magnus, the Curve Five, or like I said, I'm looking to pick up a Reef Dynamics uh, skimmer. But everything's doing well. Super stoked about this anemone. I've never really had an anemone in my tank uh, I guess that's not true I have had a sea bay anemone I didn't really have any luck with that anemone and I had one go through my mp10 which was a complete mess I wouldn't recommend it but everything's doing well just super excited about these clowns can't wait to see them get bigger they're really neat looking but these fish they're, they're tiny they're just little babies right now Anyway, guys, it's going to be a short video. I'm going to show a little bit of a, of a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet that I'm using to uh, keep track of my tank parameters. And, and uh, it's going to help me, I think, when I start dosing again. Anyway, guys, it's going to be a short update. Just wanted to show you my new additions. Thanks for watching. Later. Hey, guys, so I just wanted to give you a brief look at, at the Excel spreadsheet that I've created to uh, track my tank parameters. I'm by no means uh, uh, an Excel wizard, so it's pretty pretty basic, but I think it's going to work out real nice. I think it's going to going to accomplish everything that I'm looking to accomplish. Basically, you know, uh, let me it's going to let me enter the date and the temperature, pH, salinity, uh, nitrate, phosphate, calcium. When I start dosing, there'll be the calc doke, the al alkalinity, the alkalinity dose. Then it also gives me a chance to make a few remarks like uh, 10 gallon water change, uh, anything that anything that I might notice going on with the tank. So, like I said, I am by no means a, a uh, Excel wizard, but I am willing to email this to anybody that you know. If you're interested, comment, uh, shoot me a message, 
if you're interested in if you have Excel and you don't you don't make spreadsheets if you'd just be interested in it I'd be willing to uh, share it so thanks for watching later